So as you may have guessed, the Sentinels down at Preston Avenue also had to say goodbye. And um, y'all may remember that the old Southern Sentinel Bridge had a pair of three uh, green, yellow, red Sentinel heads. But anyway, Norfolk Southern did a different concept with this new Sentinel Bridge here, or this new cantilever. Instead, they went ahead and did a single three light on track one. But take a look at track two. Track two just has a two over two configuration and it's treated as an equilateral turnout. The reason for this is, is because Rio is the next signal north of here and it goes to single track. So basically, you're limited to either a stop signal or an approach diverging, which is yellow over green. The Rio signal, on the other hand, can either get a stop or a diverging clear. So it's very interesting that they decided to go for that, but it makes sense because other than having you know, clear or stop here. But there you have it. So that's completely different from what it was. Pick up my radio here. But there you have it. And it's not a full span cantilever like the other signal was. It's just. It's just a cantilever. But that's pretty cool. And it uh, sounds like they did talk to 12R on the radio. 2416 so. 2416 between Camden and Red Hill on the main one, including the control point at Red Hill and LJO. Tell it has already clear at 1243 1243 and over. Alright. So, anyway, with that being said, um, different configuration. You can see that the other side still has just the plain uh, pair of three signal heads. But on the other side here, like I said, uh, track two does have the two over two configuration. So there you go. Completely different look from last time I was here in February 2016. Hopefully we'll get some trains, but I am getting a bit of a late start here, but I do plan to do another full day uh, tomorrow, so we'll just see what we get today, and um, there you go. Thanks for watching.